Hello friends, welcome to the YouTube channel of eLearn Markets. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic, something that all of us need to know and apply. Time value of money. One doesn't need to be a finance mogul like Rakesh Chunjanwala to understand this very concept. It is as simple and basic for a person in the finance field dealing with lending, borrowing and investing as it is for a science student to know the law of gravity. Having said that, the rule is money obtained today is more valuable than money received tomorrow. But why? Apart from the other technical financial explanations, this can be explained using plain simple logic, which is that money today gets more time to be invested than money received tomorrow, precisely one day more but that leads to the generation of a greater final amount. This is why we often hear people saying, time is money. Coming to more lucid explanations, money in hand today projects higher purchasing power than tomorrow's money and exhibits lower opportunity cost. Lower opportunity cost is essentially prevention of the lost interest on waiting on an extra day to receive the money as explained earlier. Higher purchasing power is quite obvious, a resultant of inflation. As we have been told by our parents that during their childhood days, their pocket money for the entire week used to be rupees 10. As that time, this rupees 10 was equivalent to our rupees 100 today. Today, we cannot even think of buying an ice cream for rupee 1. As rightly quoted by Yogi Berra, a nickel ain't worth a dime anymore. Let us discuss the technical terms now. Firstly, periods denoted by N. It is the total number of periods in the holding period, that is, till when the bond is held. Next, we have rate, represented by I. It is the annual interest or discount rate used in compounding or discounting cash flows. Then we have present value represented by PV. It is the lump sum amount at a single point in time obtained by discounting the future cash flows. With that, we come to future value, that is FV. It is the lump sum at a single point in time obtained by compounding the periodic cash flows. Then we come to payment as denoted by PMT which are the equal periodic payments paid or received. PMT is considered to be positive when payments are received and negative when they are paid. The basic fundamental base of TVM, that is time value of money, is the phenomenon of compounding and discounting. Compounding means taking the money forward when the value of a single or series of cash flows are calculated across time. Discounting means pulling the money in the future back in time and calculating its equivalent value. The following formula will help you calculate both FV and PV. As obvious, FV that is the future value is associated with compounding and PV that is the present value is associated with discounting. Now friends, TVM is a very, very important concept which can be applied in bond value calculation, determining housing loan, EMI calculations, credit card calculations, mortgages, etc. The bottom line is that time is your greatest asset if you can wisely use it. So if you're smart enough, you should use your money to create more of it. Thank you.